Pups, how you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. This is, this is my life now. This is my life now. Okay, 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 okay! Ah! All right, so for today's video is another episode of Handmade Hankerings. I wanted to share with you guys some of the amazing things that I've been acquiring from Etsy for like the past month or so. And I'm very excited to share them with you because I've been on this kick lately of like Star Wars and Disney and Universal and Harry Potter and just all of the things all of them. So I'm gonna share with you some cool things that I think you guys might like and I will leave links down below as always. So in December there was a flash Instagram sale on an ears shop. They make Disney ears kind of like how I do. Their shop is called Bits and Bobs Accessories. So they had a flash sale from their shop and I acquired two pairs of Disney ears and one hair bow. All right so here are the first pair of ears that I got. These are Chewbacca ears. I know they don't scream Chewbacca at you. Actually her new pair has like a little stripe that looks like Chewbacca's sash deal. I love them still and when I wore them to a craft fair people actually recognized them as Chewbacca ears so it made me kind of excited. So check them out. I think they're kind of cute. I like them. So these are the winter soldier ears that she sells in her shop. They're super sparkly and shiny and they have the stars on either side and then she even put like a little Mickey Mouse symbol here. So winter soldier ears. I'm in love with them. I can't wait to go to Disney this year and wear them because obviously Bucky is love. And I heard they're supposed to have like a character Bucky walking around Disney now. So I mean it's just speculation but if that's true, oh my god. Also from her Instagram sale, I got this Harry Potter inspired bow. Now since buying this bow, she actually has already made like a Slytherin bow and I really want to get it, but I'm holding off. I wore this actually to Celebration of Harry Potter. It is massive. This bow, when I ordered it, I thought it was going to be much smaller than it is, but the detail in the bow is like insane. Like you can see she has a little lightning bolt here and Harry's broom for Quidditch and like the colors are really awesome. I wore this to Celebration and I was actually kind of getting irritated because people assumed that I was Gryffindor and I was like, I'm not Gryffindor, I'm Slytherin. You understand, right? But either way, I think the bow is super cute and it's massive. It's like the biggest bow ever, but it's so worth it. Like, so you guys have to check out her Instagram and her shop. Now we're moving on to a personal friend of mine's stuff. I acquired this from her when we vended together at Magic City Comic Con in January. I have a lot of her bows. Let me just put that out there. I buy bows from her every time that I see her. Even though I don't wear bows that often, I just really like her bows. Um, so this past time that I saw her, she had these little tiny miniature bows and she had this one with a big bent on it. I thought this was like super adorable so I had to buy it. I was gonna originally wear this to Celebration of Harry Potter but then I got that other bow and that one was like more Harry Potter-esque. But this will be something that I wear I'm sure when I go back to Universal or just anytime just because I think it's so cute. Also from her on the same day, I got this headband. She now makes headbands. So this is just like a long strip of fabric and it says I want to believe all over it so it's X-Files inspired which was perfect since the show just started back up but I'm in love with this headband I've been wearing it a lot especially when I'm just like doing stuff around the house not like this obviously I'm just showing you what it looks like but I think it's so awesome and I love X-Files and everything that she has is really really cool oh and I here I am talking about her shop and I'm not even mentioning the name. So you can find her on Etsy, it's Kitsch and Crossbones. I will leave the link down below so go check out her shop. She primarily does conventions and she does conventions all over the United States. Um, but she does sell stuff in her Etsy shop so you should definitely check her out. So there are a couple girls on Instagram that are like pretty popular um, because they all have separate shops. It's the Sorcerer's Phone, Geeky Cauldron, and Half-Blood Prince. So they're all triplets. Half-Blood Prince makes actual like prints and posters. Uh, Geeky Cauldron sells jewelry, kind of like how I do. We have some of the same things actually. Oh, the Sorcerer's Phone sells phone cases. So they have a younger sister and she recently started selling gigantic bows. So I purchased this one from her right before going to Celebration. So basically on Saturday I wore this bow and on Sunday I wore the Harry Potter bow. I would say that my one complaint about this bow is that the head wrap, this is just a bandana. Like she went and bought like a normal size bandana and rolled it up and then attached it to the bow. And that's fine, but it's a little bit too small. So this is how I actually wore it at Celebration. But like I don't have much room to tie back here. So that's probably my only complaint. Other than that, I think that it was made really, really well. 
um, and I love the huge Slytherin symbol in the middle. I know that she has each house in her Etsy shop. I will link it down below only because I can't remember exactly what it's called right now. So the next thing I will show you is my phone case then. So this is actually from the sorcerer's phone shop, so the sister of that girl. I... <laughs> This is a weird story, okay. I ordered this phone case on August 31st of 2015. I just got it last week. The phone case is really cool. It is very nicely made. I've had it on my phone now um, for about a little over a week and it's definitely holding up for being a handmade case. Um, here is my qualm. Why did I wait six months for this case? It did say on the website that the cases will take six to 10 weeks to make. That's that's not six months, that's much less than six months. So the fact that I had to wait for this case for so long, I mean, I moved. Like, I literally moved apartments. I had to contact her and like, tell her to go back to the August orders and say, hey, can you find my address or my order and update my address because I'm moving. Um, that's weird to me that I had to like, literally think about that in my head. Like, as I'm changing my address with my bank and my bills and like, work and stuff, I'm like, oh my god, I have to update my address with my phone case order from August. Do I think the case was worth the wait? No, I don't, because I could easily have found a case that was just like similar and not waited that long. Also, I think the case cost me about 30 or 40 bucks, so I don't think it's worth the money. Um, like I said, it is a good quality, like, you know, for being handmade, it's really nice. Um, there are some other cases that I was interested in on her site, but honestly, I'm, I'm probably not gonna buy them um, because I don't like the fact that I waited so long. I will say this though, when I did send her a message um, asking about my order, she usually, I would say 90% of the time, responded within 10 minutes. I did appreciate that she responded to me so quickly um, when I messaged her. She was very kind about it. Like I would inquire when my order was shipping and she would say, look, I'm really, really sorry. I will make sure to send some extra stuff with your case. And she did. She sent me three pieces of jewelry from her sister shop and also a temporary tattoo that said mischief managed. Um, so that's really cool. She did include a bunch of little cool items to like make up for the fact that it took so long. But that being said, I still don't think that waiting six months was worth it for this case. Here's another thing that bothered me, and I feel like I'm complaining a lot about this, but I mean, do you guys agree with me? Like six months is a long time. Um, here is my other issue with it. Within the six months that I'm waiting for my phone case, she would periodically post on Instagram that she had like extras of a specific case and she was selling them. Uh, through her shop. She's like, hey, I have 10 cases in my shop that will ship tomorrow if you buy them right now. Twice in the six months of her doing these periodic updates, it was this case. Like, it was this case that she said, hey, I have extras made. Um, buy it right now and it'll ship tomorrow. That bothered me a lot. Um, because if you have extra cases sitting around and you're trying to make an extra couple of bucks right then to ship out products tomorrow, why not just ship me my case that I paid you for in August? Do not say that you have extra cases of this design that you can sell immediately to people and ship the next day when I have been waiting months for my case. Like, that really, really bothered me. I do like the case, I will use it until it falls apart, but you know, that experience was not one of the best and I probably won't reorder. So, okay, <laughs> moving on to something much happier. So I have a friend named Deb and she does local craft fairs with me and she recently got this adorable Star Wars fabric. Um, she mainly makes cupcakes and her cupcakes are to die for. Her butterbeer cupcake is incredible, but she also makes pouches on the side. So she got this amazing new Star Wars fabric. So the inside has a chevron pattern and then the outside is this really cute little Star Wars pattern. I don't think Deb is running her online shop anymore, but I just wanted to show you guys anyway because I think it's so cute and I'm totally using this as like a little makeup bag to carry around in my R2D2 purse. <laughs> so I'm so excited. Okay, so the next thing that I have to show you guys was definitely not something that I needed to purchase, but I saw them and I liked them, so I purchased them. Not sure if you guys have heard of Casey and the Bear on Instagram, but she runs a shop called Parkbound Buttons. Here is their card. That is the card for Park Bound Buttons. Make sure you go check them out. So she sells buttons. Um, they're three inch buttons that she recreates to look like the actual Disney buttons. So if you've been to Disney, um, you can actually go to like the front offices, the guest services offices, and uh, if it's your birthday, you can say, hey, it's my birthday. And they'll give you a pin that has like Mickey on it or something. And it'll say happy birthday or it's my birthday. 
Um, if you're going and you just got married, you can get one that says just married. If you're going and um, it's your anniversary, you can get one that says my anniversary. These are pins that are free at Disney. Um, what Casey and the Bear does is she makes pins that look exactly like the ones that Disney give out, but they're obviously not. So these are the pins that I ordered from her. And then she also sent a bonus pin. Uh, it was a Valentine's pin that says, will you be my BB Valentine with BB-8 on it? And I died. I've been wearing it all week. <laughs> and today's Valentine's Day. I'm filming on Valentine's Day, so ironic. So these are the pins that I actually paid for and um, she just released new designs and I'm dying and I'm probably gonna have to order more from her. But I got this first pin, it says I woke up like this with Sleeping Beauty on it. And then I also got this Agent Carter I Know My Value pin because it's adorable and I love her and yes. Okay and the rest of the pins are Star Wars pins. <laughs> so I got this one and it like gave me all of the feels. It says Chewie we're home with Han and Chewbacca on it and I died. I got another BB-8 pin that I actually ordered and this one says Droid Please. <laughs> And I got this Poe pin that says, join the resistance. She had even more Star Wars pins that I was like dying to buy. She had a Finn pin, she had a Ray pin. She has a bunch of new pins that she just released, like I said. Her pins are $3 each, which honestly is pretty cheap, um, considering that they are three inch buttons and I make buttons myself. I make two and a quarter inch pins or whatever the size is. They're not cheap to make, like the parts are a little bit expensive. I charge $2 a button, um, so for her to charge $3 a button makes sense. Like, I, it's a bigger pin, so I I get it. And last but not least are two more pairs of Mickey ears I want to show you guys. Le Ears, it's le.ears on Instagram. She had a Valentine's contest um, and also for selling online for three years, and I actually won the contest. Um, and I was so like excited because I never win anything. I feel like last year like I held a lot of contests but I've never actually won a contest so I was like super excited. Um, so here are the ears that she sent me. They are Valentine's Mickey ears or mini ears I guess. I actually wore these to my craft fair yesterday. I got so many compliments on them. I think they're so cute. So these are really really great and I am in love with them. But here's the best part. She sent me a bonus pair of ears. She totally knew that I am obsessed with Harry Potter and I'm wearing these to Universal the next time I go. I don't care that they are mini ears, Mickey ears. These are coming with me to Universal. I will give you a close up here. See all the symbols? They're Harry Potter ears. Oh my God. Now here's the one thing I will say. They're definitely Hufflepuff colors, but I can deal with it. I can deal with them being Hufflepuff colors because they're so dang adorable. So, yes, I am in love. I think they are fantastic. I am so excited to wear them to Universal. <sighs> I love them, they're so great. And links to Lit Ears will be down below for you guys to go check out her Instagram and her shop. Anyway, that is the end of this episode of Handmade Hankerings. I hope that you guys will go check out all of these amazing people. I know that this was like very specific to like Disney and Harry Potter and Universal, but these people are super great and I wouldn't buy the things if I didn't think they were awesome, so I definitely think they are worth checking out. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, hi, I'm Kaylee. You should subscribe by hitting that red button right down below and we can become best friends forever. Links to my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram are also down below. I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Peace out, Trouts.